welcome back to the channel guys farm sim snowy here so we've got some more mods again today and we are going to kick things off with this this is the john deere gator pack by black sheep modding um, we've got two different size gators here and we've got a few different attachments for the gators so pretty cool bit of kit uh, first up we've got the gator 6x4 which is 15 grand to buy 68 horsepower top speed of 31 miles per hour and this is seven slots on console so we'll take a look at that the configurations are the same across the two gators so i won't go through them on the second one but i will show you it in the store so first of all we've got configuration up the top we can go standard 600 kilogram front weight 900 kilogram front weight 1200 kilogram front weight protection one which puts the bar on there Protection 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then back to standard. Wheel brands, we've got Trelleborg, John Deere, Michelin, Nokians, and back to Trelleborg. Can't change the wheel setup in any of them. It is what it is. And design configuration, we've got model 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that gives you a cab with doors. Nineteen and twenty, and then we're back to model one again, like that. Beacons, you can have no one times, so obviously just one beacon. Now, if you have it in design configuration model one, you get the beacon on a stick like that. But if you go back to sort of one with a cab or the roll cage, the beacon appears like that. So then we go to, you can have two beacons. So if we go back to model one, you got two beacons on the sticks like that, poles. And then we're back to no beacons like so. Additional lights, no or yes. So it puts those lights at the front, either side of the bonnet. And we've got those lights at the back as well. Now if you do go for the lights and you have it in sort of the cab configuration, the front one's just moved forward a little bit more, as you can see, like so. So, yes or no for the lights engine setup now this is a bit interesting because it said 68 horsepower on the first menu on the left there it says nothing about the horsepower and it just says the miles per hour 31 so i'm assuming by changing this it will change up the horsepower because i'm pretty sure this gator pack was on fs19 and i'm sure you could increase the horsepower so whether that's a slight issue that needs to be addressed but anyway we have the 25 kph 40 50 and back to 25 and like i say i would have thought that's going to change up the horsepower and then we have main color you can only choose out of three you've got a yellow the green forest and then back to the green jd design color we'll change the seats from yellow to black the rim color self-explanatory yellow or black and then you can change the license plate as well if you want to so pretty cool looking things and then we've got the gator 4x2 which is 14,000 to buy again says 68 horsepower top speed of 31 miles per hour seven slots on console and again all of these are the same so i'm not going to go through the configurations it's all pretty much the same the engine setup is exactly the same as well and it's not showing any of the horsepower on there and again the main colors are all the same as what i've just shown you and you've got the license plate as well it's basically just obviously you've lost a set of wheels hence the four by two so pretty cool and then we move on to the attachments now some of these are sort of scattered around in the tools section so you will have to sort of find them they're pretty easy to find but um the 
easiest way to do is come down to sort of this menu here that I'm on and then click on the John Deere Gator Pack and it will show you everything to do with this pack. So that's pretty handy. But we've got Skip, which is 2,000 to buy. This will hold 800 litres of pretty much everything by the look of it down the bottom. It's three slots on console. And if we go in, uh, the menu's playing up. There we go. We go in, we've got Forestry, No. We can go Yes, and it adds the cage around the sides. So you could probably chuck some logs in there, I should imagine. And then the main colour is the same with those three to choose from so all of these are going to be the same with the colors apart from the levelers which we'll look at as a couple of more extra colors and moving on from there we've got the bell container which is a 1500 to buy and one slot on console it's just a little flat bed for your bells you could probably get a couple of square ones stacked up possibly even a couple of round ones on their end and again, the main colour is those three, like so. And then we've got the three-point lifter, which is a thousand to buy, two slots on console. And if you add that to the back, it obviously gives you a three-point lifter. So it's pretty cool, that'll come in handy. Especially if you've got the weights on the front. And then this is pretty cool, this one. This is the 32A, it's two thousand to buy. This is a sprayer. It holds 400 litres of either herbicide or liquid fertiliser. Two slots on console and it will spread out to 5 metres and it will run at 7 miles per hour. Pretty cool looking thing though. I like that. And again, the colours are the same on that. And then we have got this. This is a leveller. This is the X250, it's a thousand to buy, two slots on console and it's two meters wide, like so. We can change more of the colors, so we've got a green there, another yellow, the green forest, black, and I think that one's stainless steel, yes. So a couple more options there on those for the color. And then we've got this, which is pretty similar looking, but I think this one is the plow because it has got a working speed on there of three miles per hour. This also says X250, and this is a thousand. Two slots, two meter wide again, like I say, three miles per hour, like so. And we've got those same colors, which we've just been through. And then we've got this, which is the 10 CUFT Gator 30. Not 30 as the number, 30. 2,500 to buy. This will hold 1,000 litres of lime or solid fertiliser. So it's another spreader or sprayer, if you want to call it a sprayer. It is two slots on consoles and it will spread out to 10 metres and run at 12 miles per hour which is pretty cool nice looking sort of little bit of kit i think it just goes back to those three colors yet yeah. like so i think it's just those levelers that are different options for the colors and then last of all in this pack we've got the 10 cuft gator which is 2500 to buy this is a salt spreader so it'll hold a thousand liters of salt Two slots on console, it was spread out to 10 meters and also works at 12 miles per hour. Pretty similar looking to the lime and fertilizer spreader. And again with those three colors. So there you go, that's a decent pack. That's the John Deere Gator Pack by Black Sheep Modding. Next up we've got the MAN TGX 18.500 4x2. This is by Kaztan18. This is obviously a truck, so you'll find this under vehicles and trucks. 120 grand base price, 500 horsepower, top speed of 49 miles per hour. This is 10 slots if you're on console. We've got a few configurations in here. So fenders, you have type 1 or type 2. So basically it puts some fenders over the top of the rear tyres. So type 1 or type 2. Spoiler, you've got no. The fairings. And then you can have the fairings and spoiler. And then back to no. Wheel setup, standard. 
or forestry, so it just changes the tread on the tyres. And then main colour is going to be your main cab, like so. Design colour is the sort of lower skirt, like that. And then rim colour is pretty self-explanatory. We've got chrome, silver or black. And you can add a licence plate as well if you wish to. So that's pretty nice looking truck. That's the MANTGX 18500 4x2. I nearly said 4x4 then. By Kazdan 18. And we've got another MAN truck. This is the TGX 6x4 tanker truck. This one is by Tarxy 007. 160,000 base price. 640 horsepower. Top speed of 49 miles per hour. This will hold 24,000 litres of either milk, water, diesel, death, liquid fertiliser, herbicide, slurry or digestate. It's a pretty handy. It is 12 slots if you're on console. And we've only really got uh, colour options. So your main colour is going to be your cab. Like so. Design colour is the tank itself. So we've got stainless steel chrome or black and then rim color is going to be either chrome silver or black and you can add a license plates as well if you wish very nice looking thing that quite a good capacity as well on it so that's the man tgx 6x4 tanker truck by tarxy 007 and the next one, we've got this. This is the Seppi MS9 base by Agra Design Austria. This is a mulcher. It's 7,000 to buy. Requires 100 horsepower to run it. Four slots. 2.8 meter wide and will run at 7 miles per hour. There's a few options on there. You can change the design from design and color new. Design and color old. Design old and black, and then back to design and colour new. Warning signs, you can have no or yes, so it puts those warning signs on either side like so. And then attacher type, we've got attacher 1 minus tank. So if you have it in this configuration, that's going to attach to the rear of your tractor by the look of things. Then you can have attacher 1 plus tank, so it puts that little black tank there next to the red bar like so no idea what that does myself but it must do something i guess <laughs> attach a two minus tank so that changes it now for you to be able to put it onto the front of your tractor i think by the look of it and then you can have attach two plus tank again it puts the tank over there attach a both so you can hook up to either front or rear and then with the tank there, and then with the tank on the other side, and then that's it, back to normal. So pretty cool. If you're looking for another mulcher, that is the Seppi MS9 base by Agra Design Austria. And then we've got the Fort Schritt B-352. This is by AAA Modding. It is a cultivator, seven grand to buy. Requires 80 horsepower, three slots, it's 2.1 meter wide, and it will run at 9 miles per hour. There's a few colour options, but it's quite a cool looking thing. Looks sort of a bit older looking, bit of kit. So we've got standard, and then we've got the brown, and the green, and back to standard. So not a huge amount of options. But that is the Forstrit B-352 by AAA Modding. Next up we've got these. These are the Concrete Rollers Pack by Realistic Farmers. These are grass rollers. So first of all we've got the CR190-190X. Five grand. Requires 30 horsepower. It's nine slots on console. 1.9 meters wide but we can increase that which we'll see in a second and runs at seven miles per hour so you can have it in the rolling configuration of cr190 which is just the standard single one it does have a pin hitch on the back there 
as you can see. And if we go across one, it then becomes the CR190X. And it puts this longer bar on there, so you could attach another two of these at either end. I'm not sure you're not going to get away with three, one in the middle as well, because they're just going to hit each other, I would imagine. But it looks like you could put two more either end to increase the working width for only another 250 which is pretty cool and then we're back to the standard single one that is obviously going to increase your horsepower requirement i would imagine if you're pulling three like so but it will increase your working width and then we've got the cr290 which is like its bigger brother five and a half thousand to buy requires 35 horsepower nine slots it is 2.9 meters wide this one and also runs at 7 miles per hour there's no options on this guy but it is wider it does say on the description in the website though on the mod hub website that you shouldn't attach this one to the smaller ones because it will sort of play up so this is just a sort of single use only one like so but that is Concrete Rollers Pack by Realistic Farmers. And then next we've got the PB3-0X1. This is by Blend Art, Cole Chosnick Jr. and TT Check Modding. This is a pack of shallow cultivators, all in different sizes. So first of all, we've got the PB3031, which is three grand to buy. Requires 40 horsepower horsepower three slots three meter wide and runs at nine miles per hour we do have a couple of options so design we can have heavy harrow middle harrow which changes obviously the rear ones there light harrow with tires light harrow and then back to heavy harrow main color this is going to change the bar there change it to that design color we'll change the underneath we'll go red like so and then the other design color is going to do these guys at the back like so so that's that one the color options are all the same across all of them so i won't go through them all but this is the pb3051 six grand to buy this requires 70 horsepower four slots it is five meters wide this one and also nine miles per hour and again as you can see it's folded up at the minute in the shop but it's got the same configurations and color options and then lastly we've got the pb3081 which is nine thousand to buy this requires 120 horsepower to run it's four slots but it is eight meters wide and it also runs at nine miles per hour again it's a bit of a beast that one folded up and it's got all the same options as well like so so that is them that's the pb3-0x1 by blend art cole chosnick jr and tt check modding and then moving on to the placeables for today and we're going to start off with these two these are the John Deere RTK Stations Pack by Matthew FS. Um, I think some of these came out on FS19 to do with the Precision Farming DLC. And back then they were to be placed down in the hope that they were going to improve the workers' sort of efficiency, effectiveness, something like that. I didn't really use precision farming a great deal in fs19 but these ones are to be placed down and according to the mod hub website it increases the accuracy of the weather forecast to which your farm is connected so this is going to improve the weather forecast accuracy hopefully so first of all we've got this one um this is three slots if you're on console and then we've got a slightly smaller one and that is two slots on console so you just place them down like that you can find these in your build mode and these were under buildings and then under tools and there you go they're right at the end 
So the first one we got there was 10 grand. You can spin them round like so. And then the smaller one was five grand. And the same like that. Pretty cool though. Nicely detailed. Cool. So that's the John Deere RTK stations pack by Matthew FS. Moving on from there, we've got this. This is hay storage with bale acceptance. This is by Fib seven or it could be fib seven it's basically the same standard in-game hayloft that we've got that you can place down but like it says it should accept bell so we have got a bell there so we can use it so obviously you will tip in your loose hay or straw like so and then you will get that out from under this pipe so like i say exactly the same sort of design and build as the in-game one and obviously you'll place your bells at that point hopefully it will accept it and this one i think it's got 500,000 litre capacity so you need to go in your build mode again and i think the in-game one is there yeah so as you can see it is exactly the same building that only has a 250,000 litre capacity. They both are five slots on console, I forgot to say that. So this one here is five slots if you're on console. This you'll find as well under silos, but it'll be right at the end. And there it is. So yeah, it holds an extra 250,000 litres over the in-game one, the base game one. So 500,000 litre capacity, same price, 63,500. And we'll take hay and straw. And you can see it's got the bell symbols there as well. So pretty cool. Nicely detailed. I'm sure some of you will be very familiar with this building. So I have got a bell there on a wheel loader. We're just going to test it. Apologies for some of the landscaping here. But <laughs> I just plonked all these buildings down it's quite horrific really but this should work so as soon as we come out of there there you go that has taken that so it kind of more or less sort of shreds the bell so it seems I don't know if you heard that but I could hear it and if we come up to there we've got 9013 litres I don't know where the 13 come from because that was a 9,000 litre bell, but that's pretty cool. So that's the hay storage with bell acceptance by Fib7. And then moving on from there, we've got these two beasts. Which is Sawmills Pack by Ola Haldor, I think it is. Ola Haldor. These are the standard sawmills from elm creek which we're on now which i think is that one and from oak belleron which is that one so that's obviously the bigger one and these are where are we this one is 26 slots because it's the bigger one and this one is 25 slots and they are obviously part of the production chains so i'll show you where you can find them but we've got wood chips just there this is your point where you can manage it because obviously if you do place this down you already own it whereas if you come onto like the base game map and come up to this icon you can buy the production chain but obviously placing it down you will automatically own it obviously this is your tip in point this is where you can sell your wood if I come up to this symbol in the help menu it says sell wood and then your planks, because they will produce planks, will appear just here. And as you can see, it's quite a huge building. And then the one from Elm Creek, similar sort of setup, but obviously a little bit smaller. Got your sort of tipping point there, or you'd pull up there with your logs. And then you can sell your wood there. And your planks will appear here. Again, if you come up to this, you can manage your production. 
like so so obviously you will get wood chips coming out it's not just planks as you can see there and they will come out over there on that point and I did show you there's the wood chip point on there as well so pretty cool take them off can further the planks along the chain I think you can take them to the carpentry production chain to produce furniture I'm not 100% sure about the wood chips I think you could just sell them but that's where your wood chips will appear there so that is those two and you'll find these in your build mode again under production and then under factories because obviously they are part of the factory process and then we've got the large one which is obviously the oak bell or on one which is 150 grand to buy and like i say that was 26 slots that one says two there because obviously we've placed one down and the elm creek one is smaller and obviously cheaper 100 grand for that one and that was 25 slots so pretty cool so as you can see on the right you put in your wood and you get out wood chips and planks apologies i just realized after editing my video that i missed out some of these from the sawmills pack so there's a couple of decoration things in the pack if we come across to decoration in your build mode and go to others like so and scroll along we have the sawmill office first which is 18 slots to place I'll place them down and then we'll have a little run around we'll have a look sort of around them but that's the sawmill office that's 18 slots 90,000 to place down so we'll plonk that down next to that we have a garage which is 5,000 to place you can spin it around that's 15 slots plonk one of those down and then we have another garage which is 5,000 as well to place down that's 19 slots again you can move them all around plonk that down and then we have a small board stack which is only one slot again these are going to be decorations so that's 50 to buy we've got a medium board stack so it's a little bit bigger 50 to buy that's only one slot as well medium bar stack so you can see that's chunkier bits of wood 50 again to buy only one slot a large a bar stack like so that's 50 to buy again one slot and that is it so that is the decoration ones from the sawmill pack let's go and have a quick run round them so this was the sawmill office i don't think you can go in any of the doors because they are all just decoration hence why they're under the decoration section pretty cool though nicely detailed this was one of the garages now can we get in any of them i don't think we can which is a bit of a shame is purely for decoration so i guess if you really wanted to make your sawmill sort of come to life look a bit more not lived in but you know make it look like a proper place then you'd place these down this was the other garage again we got the bits of wood leaning up there so it's going to bring it to life and make it look like a proper you know place a building they're pretty cool they're nicely detailed and then we've got all these wood stacks that we just placed down these look all very cool with the wood textures on there even the knots in the wood the same with these more look like fence posts those and then you've got them stacked up like that so that's pretty cool so again apologies for mission uh, missing that out but i remembered it as i was editing so i'll hand you back over to my forgetful self so that is sawmills pack by ola haldor and then moving on from there the last one we've got this which is another water tank this is large water tank by flusty 94 this is two slots on console 
and obviously you place it down it is a water tank so this will find in your build mode and this was under buildings and then container right at the end it is 15 grand to buy so it is quite pricey because this is the standard in-game one it does charge you as well to fill up with water so you know it is what it is i guess but 15 grand to place down and like i say that is two slots so what i'm just going to do is to prove to you i have got a little bit of water in here because i did test it earlier pull up if you watch the help menu we should get our start filling there you go it does fill up quite quick but you can see our money is going down up top i'm going to stop that and that's cost us 50 euros so i think it seems to be a lot cheaper to buy than the standard in-game one from what i can see because I think I haven't used the standard in game one for a long time, but I think I roughly worked it out. It was kind of like unit for unit, if that makes sense. So if you took out 340 litres, I think it was something like. Well, I can't remember actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I think it might be actually cheaper. But there you go, that is large water tank by Flusty94. And I think that is everything today. There was one update and that was to the John Deere X9 2020 US and EU version. Which was the Harvester by Sid Modding. And that has had fixed fill volume, fixed brakes. A third pipe option has been added. The tank capacities have been improved. So that was the update to that one. But that is it from me for today. So I hope you have all enjoyed the mod view, review even. If you have, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.